Hey guys, this is Justin, and today we're going to walk through a quick demonstration video on setting up your new TE Smart KVM. For this video, we are going to use a 4 port model, but installation for other models should largely be the same. First, we'll set up the switch, then we'll go over how to use it, and finally we'll get into some common troubleshooting tips. So let's begin. For our setup video, we will connect inputs from right to left starting with the analog audio output. To set up computers, you'll need to plug in both the HDMI and USB cable into both the switch and the computers. As you can see, our demo computers require a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. Please visit the knowledge base on our website for a list of tested and approved adapters. For computer number two, we are using a DisplayPort to HDMI cable that has an integrated adapter and then a separate USB cable for mouse and keyboard control. When using a streaming box or any other device that does not have a USB, you will only need to connect the device via HDMI. Once you have the video input set up, plug in your mouse and keyboard into the emulation ports that are marked with a mouse and keyboard logo. Next, plug in any USB devices. For our demo, we are connecting a powered USB hub that we will get to later. Finally, plug in the HDMI out that will go to the monitor and then the power supply. The device will beep once turned on. For our demonstration, online LEDs for 1 and 2 are lit up because the inputs have a USB connection. Online 3 is not lit because there is no USB connection. If your computers go to sleep, the connection to the switch will be lost and the LEDs will not light up. To test the switch, press the yellow button to rotate the input. The remote requires a CR2025 battery, which is not included. To operate the remote, press the number corresponding to the input you want to switch to. Please note that some of the buttons on the remote may not function with the model of your switch. To switch inputs via keyboard hotkeys, press scroll lock, scroll lock in the input that you would like to select. You can activate the mouse gestures by pressing scroll scroll F12. To switch with the mouse, double tap the side of the screen to change the input. Double tap left to go down an input, or double tap right to go up an input. The most common issue that users have is that their keyboard and mouse do not work in the emulated keyboard and mouse ports. Many devices, such as gaming keyboards, conflict with the emulation for hotkeys and gestures. Multimedia keys are filtered on these ports as well. To work around this issue, please connect a powered USB hub into the USB 2.0 port and connect your peripherals into that hub. Devices plugged into the USB 2.0 port will not have hotkey and mouse gesture switching, but all other functions on your keyboard such as play, pause, volume control, and macros will function as normal. If you are not getting any sound after the initial setup, go to the sound settings of your operating system and select the correct output, which will appear as your monitor. Sound is transmitted via HDMI. A monitor with HDMI or display port is required because VGA and DVI do not carry audio signals. To confirm that you are receiving the highest resolution, go to the display settings from your desktop to see what is available for you. Then, go into Advanced Display Settings to confirm you are getting the highest refresh rates available for your setup. If you need more setup help, please reach out to us at contact at buytesmart.com. Thank you.